four. Welcome to WNL Sports Weekly. I'm your host, Jeremy Franklin. This week, we'll speak with Frank Mariello and Jason Zelesnik from the football team, as well as volleyball captain Megan Tomlinson. But first, a quick look back at the weekend in Washington at Lee Sports. As always, you can find all of the latest WNL athletics news, including detailed recaps and stats, here at generalsports.com. The women's cross-country team captured the ODAC championship at Randolph College in Lynchburg on Saturday. It's the sixth conference title for the Generals in the last seven years. The WNL men play sixth in the race. Men's and women's soccer and field hockey all advanced in the ODAC tournament with opening round wins on Saturday. Football stayed unbeaten in the conference with the 49-14 win at Catholic, while volleyball took three of four matches at the Emory National Invitational in Atlanta, falling only to second-ranked Emory. Men's and women's swimming picked up dual meet wins at Transylvania, while the riding team placed third at the Hollands Invitational. With me now is football coach Frank Mariello. Frank, welcome back to the show. Thanks, Jeremy. Good to be here. The Generals' offensive numbers in 2010 are astounding. 45 points and about 450 rushing yards in the five ODAC wins so far. What has happened for Washington and Lee to make that kind of breakthrough on that side of the ball? Well, it all starts up front with Coach Colleton and his offensive line. They've really come along quite well and uh, playing great football right now and, and doing a great job uh, protecting Charlie and open up those gaping holes for our running back. So it starts with the offensive line, and then we have – Three outstanding running backs that are just producing numbers that are unheard of at WNL, and and we're very pleased, obviously, about that. And uh, also our receiving core is uh, we don't throw the ball a whole lot, but they're doing a great job blocking on the perimeter. And we had a couple big catches last year. Tate David last week, Tate Davis had a great catch in that game. So um, Charlie Charlie uh, Westbrook is doing a great Westbrook Westfault is doing a great job, uh, you know, making decisions on that triple option. So. Everything seems to be clicking with the offense, undoubtedly. You mentioned the offensive line's performance, and they were recognized by sharing the ODAC's Offensive Player of the Week award. What does that uh, kind of recognition mean? Well, I, I've never heard of that ever in all my years of football, and, and we're so excited for Coach Colleton and, and, the, and the guys up front. Uh, they're most deserving of that, uh, of that honor, and uh, I would imagine that just most of it motivates them to play a little better this week, I hope. How much has your defense improved over the course of the season? They've come a long way. It was a main concern going into the season. Uh, we had some youth out there, some inexperience out there. Uh, they progressed quite well. Our past defense is getting a lot better each and every week. Uh, I think we're ranked in the conference now in number one or number two, I think. So the, the secondary was, a, uh, was an issue, and, and they're, they're doing a wonderful job. Our defensive line continues to be uh, undersized week in and week out, but they somehow seem to get some plays done when they have to. And the linebacker core has, has come, come along quite well. So it seems like we're bending and bending. But when a play has to be made on defense, some, somehow we're coming up with a play. What will WNL need to do to win the ODAC title against Hampton Sydney on Saturday? Well, we've got to play our best game of the year, no doubt. <clears throat> our, our coverage has to be solid underneath and over the top. Uh, whether or not we can get some pressure on the quarterback, I don't know. Again, our defensive line is, is just we don't have that Brian Folk, uh, Matt Castley kind of guy in there right now. But... Uh, we're going to play solid uh, coverage underneath and over the top, and hopefully we'll get a couple interceptions and maybe a turnover in the run game, and, and we need to get a couple, three, maybe four turnovers if we can. And our offense has been pretty good with the turnover situation, so we're plus nine in the conference right now. We need to, we need to stay there. Frank, thanks for joining us on the show. Good luck against the Tigers on Saturday. Thanks, Jeremy. Good to be here. With me now is Jason Zelesnik, senior football captain from Scotch Plains, New Jersey. Jason, welcome to the show. Thanks for having me. What's it been like to be a part of the offensive explosion for the Generals this fall? Well, it's definitely been interesting to uh, be part of something that's historic and record-breaking as our offense has this year, uh, not only in W on history, but also in the ODAC. Uh, you know, the offense kind of, you know, we, we like it. It helps us dictate the game, you know, we get to control, you know, time of possession, you know, the tempo of the game, and that only helps the offense, but also, also the defense. And, uh, you know, beginning of the season, Coach Abel, who brought this offense here, you know, one of our goals was, to sort of you know lead the offense, lead the nation in offense and rushing offense, and you know I'm kind of you know I'm not looking at the stats, but you know we looked at it. someone told me that we're fourth in the nation, so you know we're happy where we are, but you know there's definitely room for improvement in the next few weeks. What's the attitude of the team as you prepare for your biggest game in the season? No, I kind of I would argue that you know this might be our biggest game in four years, um, you know, but we we sort of had the same mindset we've had you know for the whole season, despite despite our record. Uh, we're leading the ODAC with five wins right now. 
Uh, we're still been an underdog for much, pretty much every game we've been a part of. So, you know, we're, we're fine with that. You know, we don't expect anything different with Hampton Sydney. They're the 19th in the nation right now, so you kind of expect to be the underdog as well. But, um, you know, the game's sort of personal also. Uh, we've lost the last three matches against Hampton Sydney, so, you know, there's definitely look, looking for a little bit of payback this, this week. How do you balance the emotion, the excitement of playing for the ODAC championship on parents weekend with the focus that you'll need to beat the Tigers? Well, you know, first, you know, we got to love the situation we're in. You know, it's two undefeated teams in the ODAC, you know, parents weekend. We're going to have a great crowd. We think that, you know, the crowd and the atmosphere is going to be a really crucial part of the game this week. Um, but, you know, to balance that, you know, we understand who we're up against and what's needed to succeed. They're, you know, they haven't lost an ODAC game since 2008 and they're 18 and one in the last two years. So, um, you know, we understand that, you know, in order to, to be successful this weekend, we need to have a great week of practice, which you've had. I would argue it's the best week of practice you've had this whole year. And uh, in order to execute well, you know, we need to have, you know, exp an explosion and, and, and great practice throughout. When you get to Saturday's game on the field, what are the keys to a W-0 win? Yeah, well, speaking for the offense, you know, we've got to continue to trust the system. That's worked all, all year. Um, we need to play physical and we need to execute, you know. We don't run too many different types of plays, so Head and Sydney kind of expects, to, you know, knows what's coming. So, you know, if we, if we execute well and, and be physical, you know, I think we're going to dominate on offense. And on defense, um, you know, continue to get turnovers and, and sort of control their, their passing offense. Um, the last three matches we've had the last three years have been, you know, high scoring games. So, you know, with our offense, hopefully that's to our advantage this year. Jason, thanks for joining us on the show. Good luck against Hampton Sydney. Appreciate you having me here. I'm joined now by Megan Tomlinson, junior volleyball captain from Petersburg, Pennsylvania. Megan, welcome to the show. Thank you so much for having me. How pleased have you been with the way the regular season unfolded? Very good. I feel very strong about our in-conference play. We've had some strong wins and also on the weekends we've gotten to see really good competition um, in our away tournament. So it's, it's been a good mix of both experiences. You've had a lot of first year and sophomore players who've been major contributors this fall. How much progress have those underclassmen made? They're doing so well. They're just very happy to be in the system. They've grown in the system. We've had a couple big stud players as freshmen and they've just been trying to learn, been coachable and contributing to the team. You're heading down to Roanoke this weekend for the ODAC tournament at Hollins. The Generals were upset by Roanoke College in the quarterfinals last year. How focused are you on the Emory and Henry match coming up on Friday? Um, I think we're focused on the weekend as a whole. In general, ODAX is one of our biggest goals, and um, we actually had to ask Coach yesterday who we were playing. So I think we're focused on each game at a time, but the overall um, picture is in mind, and each team will be handled. What will it take for Washington and Lee to put together three good matches in 24 hours and win that conference tournament? I think the good thing for us is having these tournaments under our belt. We go almost every weekend. We play three or four games. Um, we have good depth in our team, and I think if we just keep continuing to play at tournaments like we've played, um, I think we'll be, we'll be in good shape. Megan, thanks for joining us. Good luck this weekend. Thank you so much. Washington and Lee will seek its ninth ODAC volleyball title in the last 10 years in this weekend's conference tournament at Hollins. The top seeded generals open up play with a quarterfinal match against number eight Emory and Henry at 4 p.m. Friday. Also Friday, men's swimming plays host to Gardner Webb. On Saturday, the football team will look to clinch the ODAC championship at home against 17th ranked Hampton Sydney. Kickoff is at 1 o'clock at Wilson Field. Also at 1, women's swimming takes on conference rival Randolph Macon at Cy Twombly Pool. Several conference titles will be up for grabs on Saturday. The ODAC Volleyball semifinals will take place that morning in Roanoke with the championship to follow at 3.30. The field hockey and men's soccer championships will be decided on Saturday as well. Check out generalsports.com to see if WNL will be competing in either of those games. For WNL Sports Weekly, I'm Jeremy Franklin. Thanks for watching.